A moment took place in a House hearing where Democratic Congressman Maxwell Frost said the truth to the face of Marjorie Greene about Marjorie Greene when she tried to rewrite her past a little bit and he didn't allow it. Now I'll show this to you, a brutal moment for Marjorie Greene, but then second part of this segment is going through what Marjorie does not want you to remember, which is her record. I think you probably have forgotten just how crazy Marjorie Taylor Greene is. And this is important given it looks like we are launching into this feud within the Republican Party where they're going to try to oust Mike Johnson, led by Marjorie Greene. She is wielding an incredible amount of power and represents a massive portion of the Republican base. And thus, again, has become the driving force within this modern GOP, especially in the House of Representatives. So I'll remind you in just a little bit of who she is in a pretty blunt fashion first though here's the moment from this house hearing you asked what? multiple questions i did not ask him a question you certainly did. You said, did you see this time has expired gentle ladies time's expired i'm going to really quickly pause your viewing of this video to ask you to subscribe to the youtube channel Just click that subscribe button plus the like button as well and the alert bell so you get notifications back to it chair now recognizes mr frost from florida thank you mr chairman before i get into it it's interesting to hear my colleague just now talk about disavowing white supremacists when in 2022 you she spoke at an event led by white supremacists and white nationalist nick fuentes and when asked about it doubled down on it and said we're gonna focus on people not labels so get out of here with that damn hypocrisy and he's absolutely correct there and Nick Fuentes, if you're not familiar, before I play a reminder of her showing up at this white supremacist conference, he's called for a white Catholic Taliban rule of the United States, a holy war against Jewish Americans, a bunch of stuff I would just never repeat. All the worst vile anti-Semitic, anti-black, etc. things have left the mouth of Nick Fuentes, a Holocaust denier, all of it. Open, out and out, neo-Nazi. And this was Marjorie Green showing up to his conference. And you want to know the secret, uh, to borrow a phrase from a friend of mine, our secret sauce here, it's these young white men. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we call the secret ingredient. America and the world has forgotten about them, but not us. You know, they say about America, they say, Diversity is our strength, you know. And I look at China and I look at Russia. Who Can we give a round of applause for Russia? We are honored, we are humbled and excited to welcome to the stage right now for our first speech, and we'd love to get to know her much better. I think this is going to be the beginning of something great. The representative from Georgia, Marjorie Taylor Greene. know what it's like to be canceled and that's why i'm here to talk to you tonight so she can't deny her past when it's on video right that's what we saw there and one of the things that happens which is why i want to dive into what we're going to go through next is if you are so crazy if you flood the zone with crazy the craziness stops uh, starts being forgotten and stops being covered as much and that's because you sort of get numb to it. And so then Marjorie becomes this sort of, I don't know, normal figure. This is the Republican Party. But that is true. She is now the Republican Party. She is controlling it more than most and has a lot more influence than most. And so as that is developing, I want you to keep this in mind. Okay, let's just go through some of the past views she's espoused, theories she's subscribed to. Very early adopter of QAnon, Marjorie Taylor Greene was. She believed in the Clinton kill list, thought a 2017 Las Vegas mass shooting was a government orchestrated plan to strip away Second Amendment rights. Vice report, she expressed the view that Muslims do not belong in government, said black people are held slaves to the Democratic Party, called George Soros, a Jewish Democratic mega donor who survived the Holocaust, 
a Nazi and said she would feel proud to see a Confederate monument if she were black because it symbolizes progress made since the Civil War. She endorsed the idea in Facebook comments of Obama and Clinton being hanged. She liked a comment pushing the frazzle trip conspiracy theory, which Vice also reports is a baseless claim that Hillary Clinton tortured a young girl on video, cutting off her skin and wearing it as a mask. Same Marjorie Green is buying into this stuff before drinking her blood in a satanic ritual. It is also claimed Clinton killed NYPD officers who saw the video and covered up their deaths as suicide. She's endorsed the idea that the Parkland shooting was a false fat flag operation. Same thing with the Sandy Hook shooting and others. We don't even have time to get into the Jewish space lasers nonsense, but you're familiar with that. I know she subscribed to the Pizzagate conspiracy theory, which CNN reports Clinton and other Democratic Party leaders were running a human trafficking and pedophile ring out of a pizzeria in Washington, D.C. That's the bonkers theory. 9-11 conspiracy theory. She's bought into Obama birtherism. While she was a congresswoman, compared mask mandates to the Holocaust. She liked to comment again on Facebook that said a bullet to the head would be quicker, referring to Nancy Pelosi, and more recently said this in that similar theme. And it's a, it's a crime punishable by death is what treason is. Nancy Pelosi is guilty of treason and we want her out of our government. She strangely, before she was a congresswoman, harassed congresswoman AOC. If you want to be a big girl, you need to get rid of your diaper and come out and be able to talk to the American citizens instead of us having to use a flap. And then escalating from there, she harassed a mass shooting survivor, David Hogg, because he dared to advocate for gun laws. I'm a citizen, I'm a gun owner. I have a concealed carry permit. I carry a gun with, for protection for myself and you are using your lobby and the money behind it and the kids to try to take away my second amendment rights. You don't have anything to say for yourself? You can't defend yourself. And while she was a congresswoman again, she pushed mass shooting conspiracy theories. This one from 2022. Now, here's what I have to say. I mean, two shootings on July 4th, one in a rich white neighborhood and the other at a fireworks display. It almost sounds like it's designed to persuade Republicans to go along with more gun control. I mean, after all, remember, we didn't see that happen at all the pride parades in the month of June, but as soon as we hit MAGA month, as soon as we hit the month that we're all celebrating, loving our country, we have shootings on July 4th. I mean, that's, oh, you know, that would sound like a conspiracy theory, right? Of course. So alluding to the idea that a mass shooting was just an effort to convince conservative Americans to support gun laws, deranged. And so then I guess my message is mostly to Republicans. Is this what you want? Is this what you want your party to become? Because that's what's happening. It's sort of already happened. She wields way more power than any moderate Republican in the House of Representatives. She's currently calling the shots in such a major way that if she's unhappy with Mike Johnson, there's a chance unless Democrats save him that he'll be ousted. And she riles up and gets support from the core part of the MAGA base more than anyone else. So Republicans, this is what your party, the grand old party is becoming. Marge Taylor Greene, who has that record and much more. I know I'm just scraping the surface, my goodness. And you know, I've talked about in the past, out in the world, there's extremism across the political spectrum. Absolutely. But one of the reasons that we should focus so much on the MAGA extremism is because it is making it to important positions of power like left-wing extremism isn't, right? You have a situation where some of the most powerful people or those leading a very powerful movement like Trump, who could become very powerful and was, are the most extreme or are really extreme. Whereas I see some crazy people who are quote unquote on the left out in the world or on social media, but those aren't getting into these super important positions of power like is happening on the right as shown by the fact that Joe Biden is the leader of the Democratic Party, not exactly an extremist. And that's not the same on the right. On the right, positions of power are increasingly being occupied by these extremists like Marjorie Greene. Donald Trump, obviously the leader of this entire thing. And that is why our focus right now should be on rejecting and making politically irrelevant MAGA. Let me know what you thought of all that in the comments.